Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're gonna take a look at Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over your cards and we're gonna take a look and see what's going on with you, okay? I'm gonna get right to it. I pulled some cards, trying to finish some individual reads, but I do realize that when I'm, when I pulled these, uh, sadness took over me, sadness. All right, guys, uh, Capricorn, what I pulled for you, I feel like there's something here. We have the gratitude card, which is reverse. It's really funny because you come out as somebody who's benevolent, somebody who's kind, somebody who's a problem solver, well disposed, right? And you're trustworthy. So we don't see anything wrong there. You're also dependable. The cards say that you are self-made and because you're involved with some situation, there's typically a favorable outcome. I noticed here this gratitude that is reversed for you. It says that even though you're in this King of Cups energy or this is typically who you are or typically represents who you are in terms of characteristics. I get this feeling here that there's something where you're not very happy at the moment. There's something about you operating in a low vibration. It says something about unhappiness within a friendship. This could have something to do with being in a relationship or something like that that has conditions. So this is not unconditional love. There's some strings attached here. Whatever this gratitude being reversed is about for you. I believe it has to do with love. It also says that typically when gratitude is upright, that means that whatever you bring to the table, King of Cups here, is typically without judgment. I feel like at this point, there's something where you gain some kind of clarity or judgment on a situation and you're not happy at the moment. Abundance comes up next for you. Now with abundance, I see that there's something here about you getting what you ask for, right? This is about seeking, something that you're looking for, something that you want to develop. You want some sort of a relationship to go your way, but this is about seeking something that you give. I seek to give what you ask for. So I'm not sure if you're not asking for what you need. I'm not sure if you're being upright with yourself about what you need when it comes to abundance or something like that. For some of you guys, I feel like you could be, I don't want to say, you guys are hiding something. Some of you guys are, what fell? Hold on. There's something with abundance, all right? I don't know if you use abundance to mask certain things is what I'm getting from this. If you look at this card, you're going to see some guy here. He's drinking. I don't know if that's a hat. There's some division in the home. I believe this person may not be happy at the house, right? So we see somebody who's got a bottle. I don't know if that's a hat or I feel like that's one of them collection cans or something. Yeah, they're looking inside of a sewer trying to pull some pennies out of it. So for some of you guys, it says abundance and it is upright. So you could be abundant just watching your pennies or you could, you know. I don't get a good feeling from this. I'm just saying. All right. We also have the grief card that shows up for you, Capricorn. I don't feel good about this. I feel like you guys are in this, this state of, I feel terrible. Now, grief. Some of you guys could have lost something. Let's take a look at the grief card. This card tells a story about somebody who lost something. There was a loss here. When you have grief, it's about loss. It's love. But it's a love of... It's love that doesn't have anywhere to go. It's grief. Right? So I don't know where to put it. I don't know where to display my disappointment. I feel like for some of you guys, this is lingering grief. I've been sitting in this situation for a while. That's what it feels like. Right? And I feel like for some of you guys, I don't know if you're saving up money to do something, but you're definitely, some of you guys, honestly, there's some division in your household and you're drinking your problems away. I don't know if you guys are trying to put money away and somebody's yanking it out. Look at this person. They're sticking a string inside. It looks like of a sewer to get to some kind of gold. So somebody might be trying to yank you for your bread, whatever that's about. So maybe that's something you guys need to look at. And that could be something having to do with this pregnancy here. Because there is a pregnancy. It just looks like you're very unhappy about it. There's something with security here. Let's take a look at this. Now, this talks about Bob, whoever Bob is. Bob's insecurities. Now, for some of you guys, you are fearing something. There's something with a project here. I feel like this is career-driven for some of you guys. This is a general, I think, um, I don't know, I'm getting this story a lot. It's coming out in different ways. It's got different ways of displaying with different signs, meaning it picks out different vulnerabilities, if you will. 
So this one talks about some sort of insecurity. For some of you guys, you feel like there's this project that you're not going to be able to complete. Or for some of you guys, you're like, I've never completed anything in my life. This is an insecurity of mine. All right. This is a demon that is coming to you, but it's talking about you maybe masking or using other things to cover up something like an insecurity. I will present myself in this. I have money. I have this and that all to cover up some sort of insecurity here. But this insecurity points out specifically that this is about projects that you feel like you've never had the chance to complete. There's something about you withdrawing from it or there's a fear. I'll never be able to get this done. Capricorn, we have the King of Cups that shows up for you here again. And I went over this with you guys, that, bene that benevolent nature. Something about you guys are waiting for artistic results here. Things are going to turn out favorably for you. This is your typical energy, but you don't feel that right now. The Six of Pentacles, well, let's take a look at it. It talks about a necessary transition that you are probably rejecting. I feel like you guys are rejecting something. There's some reason why you can't move over into calmer waters. I believe this has to do with abundance. This is money driven. So for some of you guys, you feel like you're stuck. You can't move. I feel like some of you guys are going to actually end up making some sort of move here, but it is going to be with delays. Delays are going to come with it. But along with the delays, it gives you time to come up or give birth with a new way of thinking. I feel like some of you guys have some time to contemplate on some things or you've been in this energy for a while and it comes up. There's this new way of thinking. Now, this is going to sound a little bit insulting, but the cards say that you wouldn't actually move because of lack of tenacity. Meaning drive. I don't want to do this. I'm uncertain of myself. I'm not willing to go. I'm not a go-getter, right? I have this project. I know it's brilliant. I'm not sure if I want to move with it. But I feel like you may have many things that are, and maybe you feel like, because sometimes when you have people like this, you're your own worst critic or you're harshest on yourself. Everybody's like, oh, that's great. And you're like, no, it's not finished, right? So that's what it would typically mean for me. But I do feel like there are several things here that you feel like you have not accomplished. For some of you guys, you feel like you have not gotten the recognition that you deserve. Some of you guys want to be acknowledged for your contributions. This comes out as clear as day for Capricorn here, right? Now, we also see here the Four of Pentacles. It talks about you guys doing well financially. You're doing well financially, but you guys are in some kind of grief. The cards say that money is your top priority. I see that. I see that. I see that it's a worry for you, something with these finances here. But the cards are also saying that you guys have to set aside some sort of savings. So whatever finances you get in, you have to take care of your business needs. I feel like whoever I'm talking to is a business owner or... Maybe there's something that you run. This could be your own personal whatever, whatever too, right? Wait, water and coffee. Hold up. Ugh, too sweet. I don't like that. I don't like sweet stuff. It really irks me. Anyway, yeah, for some of you guys, this is about you finding your purpose. The Four of Pentacles. This is about strength and purpose. For some of you guys, this is big finances. I'm trying to get this done. I feel like you guys have big plans. I feel like for some of you guys, you had big goals. I feel like for some of you guys, you may have been looking for the Ace of Pentacles, but I feel like finances may be coming in smaller waves for you. And I don't think that is what you actually expected, right? Because we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed here. It's typically you receiving some large sum of money, but it looks like the money is scattering in. It's difficulty scattering in. It's not necessarily tangible. It also represents smaller amounts of money, which were not expected. All right, so I feel like for some of you guys, your money is being dispersed to different areas and this is an, a concern for you. I feel like for some of you guys, you do have this long term for security, but you also start to look at the things that could be holding you back, such as your own insecurities. These cards do reference that no matter what your situation is, you still have the ability to complete whatever tasks you have to complete to make yourself feel whole. All right. Let's take a look at love for you. I'm going to pull the traditional ones. And if I, you know, I'll pull these. I'm going to pull these. Let me see what I get out of them. Show me gratitude and abundance. Show me Capricorn, please. Capricorn in love. Capricorn in love. Release your ex. Some of you guys are in the midst of releasing an ex or you are contemplating releasing somebody that no longer serves you. Somebody who... Could be ungrateful or somebody that drives you to this energy of ungratefulness. You ever have somebody aggravate your soul to the point where you're like, really? 
Yeah, like that. So it's something about your ex. Some of you guys are, what is that, a little, is that a nap or? Uh, uh, could you please get off my car? Oh my goodness. Listen. All right. Something about releasing your ex here. This, the time has come. Hold on, let me read it. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Some of you guys are still challenged with, or I want to say some of you guys understand that you need to release your ex. Some of you guys are right. You, you have that, I realize, or you're in the middle of this. Like, I'm suffering this right now. I need to get rid of this person away from me, out of my energy, whatever, whatever. They're not good for me. Give me one more, please. Give me one more for Capricorn in love. We see worth waiting for. Some of you guys are deciding again. I feel like there's a lot of decision making here worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Release, release your ex. Yeah, I think you guys are acknowledging something. Give me one more, please. Codependency. Yep, some of you guys are releasing codependency. This does have to do with finances. This has to do with people covering stuff up. And I feel like little by little, you guys are coming out a little bit, right? Not necessarily hiding who you are. That is so annoying. Could you please, like... Yeah, you know what? Okay. So some of you guys are releasing your ex. You realize this person is not worth investing in, waiting for, something like that. Codependency. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Does show up in the read. We also have here very soon. Some of you guys are making a decision of what you want to do about some kind of a situation here. This is a transition that you don't necessarily want to make. But based off what I see and the energy that I feel, whatever this means to you, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell somebody to take off. You know, to an extent, it's a bed you made. How do we lay in it? You know what I mean? Right? So that's something that you have to examine, Capricorn, whatever that's about. Let's take a look and see what other cards we have here. All right. What happened here? What's this, uh, what's this about? Show me release your ex in gratitude. Why are they reversed here? Please tell me why. We have a healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. The alcohol bottle shows up here. All right, we see it. Let me, the alcohol bottle shows up right here. So some of you guys are releasing addictions. You're in a healing phase. And you are trying to free yourself or, because it does say freedom, suggesting that you've already done this, freedom from toxic relationship for addiction. So I see like some of you guys are acknowledging this in the middle of this healing from it. Give me more, please. Tell me what else is going on with worth waiting for and grief. The snake. Competition. There was somebody who may have, let's see, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Some malicious energy showing up here. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Some of you guys could have been... Your relationship could have been interrupted by somebody here with the healing heart. That is so, oh my goodness. It must be the lights. Get out of here. Okay. Give me more, please. The snake. Competition. Somebody may feel like they're in competition or somebody was in competition with a third party here. Codependency. Give me more. I don't feel like this snake was an honest person. Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. Ah, I think I understand. <clears throat> Give me one more, please. I'm sorry about that, guys. Give me one more, please. Help me understand what this is about. House of, uh, hand, I always say, hand the cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic options, not showing hand, gambling. I feel like for some of you guys, it's a possibility that somebody could have hit you up while you were healing. Somebody could have put you guys in the middle of some sort of a competition or they were doing something like shady. All right. Somebody, there could have been some, I feel like a seductress or some, something like that. There was a competition enemy, clever, malicious. So somebody was doing some, you know, all types of stuff with the snake card. The other woman, I feel like this is about seduction, ill intent. In some cases, this is about revenge. Also, we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. When I look at these cards here and I see the sequence, it shows me have faith, love is coming. I feel like somebody hit you up by the time that you were vulnerable. The hand of cards. I feel like for some of you guys, 
This is about you gambling to get out of a situation. Am I going to take a chance and get out of this situation? This is the thinking. I'm being strategic. How can I do it? What are my options? I have to move quiet. I can't show my hand. I'm gambling. Now, some of you guys, you could be in this energy or you're giving up. I can't do anything. I can't take a chance. I can't this. Now, remember, your challenge here or the issue or area of opportunity is you having the guts to move. That's what it says. I'm being real with you. The text literally says, do you have the guts to move? All right, let's see. This is about self-development for this one. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. I'm trying to see what I need to pull next. Give me more. I want to know more about this, the snake, the competition. Tell me more. Give me a little bit more. I'm going to use this deck because it tends to give us a little bit more. I mean, not that these aren't trifling. I want to be clear, right? But these, oof. Mm. All right. What's going on here? Tell me about, I really want to know about the, the snake. Tell me about the snake. Tell me whatever's going to help me polish off this story. Show me what I need to know, please. Okay. Again, this is a bunch of making up my mind type of stuff. We have twin flame recognition. Somebody's not being recognized in their relationship. Somebody feels like they're left out. You know this, you know this soul that mirrors your own. Some of you guys are questioning, does this person mirror me? This person doesn't even acknowledge you. That's what it's saying here. They maybe they acknowledge you in the background, but they don't necessarily acknowledge you, something like that. We also see here unexpected connection. Now, some of you guys may have connected with somebody else and you're really surprised by it. You might be connected to somebody who is completely opposite from you. It looks like the passion is the same. So you might have a Don Juan show up, you know, look at him. He's all, remember that guy on the commercial, whatever that was about, that guy with his hair flowing and like that. I feel like there's some passion here, but I feel like it's unexpected because there are opposites here. So I feel like you, that might be something else going on for you. So we have a snake. We have an unexpected connection. I feel like this is after you connected with the snake. Because the cards do say that you were seeking some kind of help. We also have rekindle. Some of you guys are deciding, do I want to rekindle something? So we have an unexpected connection and do I want to rekindle? An old flame returns. Some of you guys are thinking about getting back together with somebody from the past. Some of you guys were not recognized in this relationship. I feel like recognition is a big thing for you. I feel like when I look at this, I'm looking at the insecurities that come out. What I'm being shown in terms of insecurities are going to be the fact that you feel like you haven't accomplished anything. But you have. Everybody makes an impact, right? One way or another, whether it be good or bad. Right? So there's definitely, listen, people definitely going to remember you. Don't worry about that. But I think your, your thing is, is it in a serious way? Is it... Is it in a good way? Give me one more, please. Give me one more. Please let this... Nope, it came out reversed again. You are worthy. So again, you're questioning your self-esteem. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. Some of you guys have some serious codependency issues that you are currently dealing with. Okay. Let me see what else I can find out. I'm not going to take too many of these. I do want to know, oops, hold on, these, these cards keep coming up, some of you guys are, I don't know if some of you guys are married here, some of you guys are separated from somebody or something like that, or getting a divorce, I don't know, give me one more, show me what's up here, tell me about the twin flame, pull me a person, <laughs> show me the twin flame recognition, somebody, you are not being recognized by your partner, I feel like that's really bothering you, sudden wealth. I feel like there's something where you feel like wealth has been yanked from you or you're trying to hold on to it because this whole reading does talk about somebody yanking your bread. Give me more. What's up with the snake or whatever you can show me for rekindle and the snake? High honor. Somebody who was, who I feel like sudden wealth. Okay, so either somebody was trying to stop something with wealth coming in or somebody who's supposed to be of high honor is operating in a way that is malicious Clever, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So somebody who presents themselves to be uh, a, a righteous individual, somebody, you know, one of them people, they get up and they say whatever they got to say. Sounds good. People send them money. 
they're supposed to be of high honor, but we see lurking in the background, there's snakes and malicious people and being clever and funny ways of, you know, this whole thing is a trap. Give me one more. What's up with this rekindle? Because I feel like Capricorn, you feel stuck in this situation because you're dealing with the snake. You also have the pathway. I don't have a way out. For some of you guys, you are having some issues growing in something. How am I going to change? What are my choices? Some of you guys are evaluating what are my choices in this situation. And it looks like you guys are willing to take a risk. Give me one more, please. We also see here despair. Some of you guys are realizing that, yes, there is some conflict in this situation. There's a lot of it. I don't feel good. I'm in despair, but I'm in despair, but I have to find a way out of it. Some of you guys are being taunted. Insecurity. Taking a risk. I have to make a risk. Very soon, I have to make a decision. You are, you are worthy. You are questioning your own self-esteem. You're in despair. I feel like this is something that you guys are in the middle of right now and trying to come out of it. I feel like these might be the demons that you're currently fighting, those inner ones. Something forced you to have to, I think great unhappiness forced you into this situation, right? So seriously, on a serious note, I, I know this is a hard, I know it is because I'm, I'm going through it currently, right? Whew, is it something else? I, I'm grateful. I got a lot of gratitude because I see what's what and... You see a lot of stuff, so I'm very grateful for it. I hope you make it out of this. I'm going to leave it there because I don't want to turn this into too much all romance. This is a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be dealt with internally. <sighs> Hold on, I have to wait for it. Jamie email. I'm just looking to see. Somebody sent a message of concern about income, some kind of a change. There's something with a house. Somebody dealt with a family. Somebody dealt with a death. There's something about adjudication, the courthouse, a female, a message that came from a false person. It says something about imprisonment or somebody having, I don't know if that's up for judgment, imprisonment, an official person, a message of concern, something having to do with somebody's job, a marriage, a wealthy man, somebody living in poverty, a privileged lady, poverty and privileged lady, thoughts, expectation, a mature man, a child, distant horizons, a courtship, lovers, a mature woman gets in the way. Something with bad health, a thief, and a journey that needs to be taken. You know, I just called those out. This reading is really over, but you know I pull a nonsense at the end if I feel like it. But that's my message. I don't want to turn this one messy because I feel like based on the emotions, it is very heavy. Like it's really, it's very heavy. Sure y'all know like it's like this is an extremely heavy I mean I see alcohol bottles and I would be you know y'all yeah, know them lines to call up if you need help or something like that you can email uh, any one of the readers or whoever you go to if you're in this mood here alright so this is not good all right that reading is over guys that reading is completely over that's over all right i love you guys so much i kind of get this feeling i don't really want to pull nonsense for this one but i will pull one of these because they tend to be more serious uh, give me a just give me a card for capricorn serpent one of your party members chosen by the divine masculine is afflicted with a deadly undetectable poison unless prevented with a wish. It will kill the character within one day. Somebody probably tried to poison you. Something about a key here. It did come out reverse here. Gain a rare magic weapon with which you are proficient. Divine masculine chooses a weapon. You're still thinking about what that weapon is. Ooh. Hold on, let's see what else. Alright, one second. Let me see what this is. Also, we have Spire. Choose a skill. You gain two all checks using a skill. You gain proficiency in this skill if you did not already have it. Draw again. Give me one more. You guys might be enhancing your skills in something, or I think you guys are trying to balance the skills and figure something out. I feel I feel like some of you guys are trying to figure out how can I be fair to myself and others. 
Your mind suffers a wrenching altercation which causes your alignment to change. Lawful becomes chaotic. Good becomes evil and vice versa. You guys are trying to get a grip on reality. I feel like you guys, listen, meditate, pray, reach out to somebody. I don't know. I just don't get a great feeling from this. But that's all I have for you guys. Let me see. If there's somebody that you're not communicating with, let me see if they have anything good to say to you. Hold on. Anything good for Capricorn from this person? This person's learning to open up their heart if you want to deal with this type of energy again. They think you belong together. They tried to replace you but realized that you're unreplaceable and now you're gone. I feel like some of you guys may have taken off. I'm not sure if I feel the same way I once did. I feel like that might have been the issue here. I hope you don't find out I've been watching you on social media. This problem, this person is probably holding back. I'm not sure why. It could have to do with something. The thought of you being with someone else drives me insane. Give me one more. Yes, I do want to be with you. So they want you to know that. Also, I don't know why I let you go. I feel like this feels like a lot of back and forth energy. Like I got you kind of. I can't, that puppet, I can control you type of whenever I want to energy. And I just feel like somebody might strike back and make decisions now. Like, all right. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Please. All right, guys. Bye.